Hey everybody, it's David. So today's gonna to be my where are the exomoons video, where I'm gonna summarize where we are at with the current exomoon searches, and what we can say about the presence of exomoons thus far. So just as a reminder, an exomoon is simply a moon which orbits an exoplanet. And remember, an exoplanet is a planet which orbits another star. So these are just moons going around planets, going around stars, other than the sun. So far we haven't discovered a confirmed exomoon, but we know of thousands of exoplanets. I think one of the many reasons why this is so interesting is that moons could be potentially habitable worlds in their own right. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't have Earth as a moon going around Jupiter, and there could be a lot of those things out there. So for the past few years, the hunt for exomoons with Kepler project has been scouring through the Kepler data looking for the signatures of exomoons. Now I won't go into too much detail right here about how we actually look for exomoons, but in a nutshell, it's pretty similar to the way we look for planets. We are looking for their transits in front of the parent star. So what do we know? So far, we have surveyed about 60 exoplanets looking for exomoons, and this takes a huge amount of computational time. To give you a sense of the numbers, if you try to run an exomoon fit on your own computer, it would take about three to five years. Now, obviously, we don't do that. We use big supercomputers, notably at NASA, to do these fits. And that's why, so far to date, we've only surveyed about 60 planets. So where are the exomoons then? Well, I can tell you that after surveying 60 exoplanets, we haven't found any confirmed moons. But that's not completely surprising given the sensitivity of the Kepler telescope. Now, Kepler is a great telescope, but it was designed to find Earth-sized planets. And by the same token, it's basically sensitive to Earth-sized moons. Now, that's great, but we don't have any Earth-sized moons in the solar system. The biggest moons in the solar system are about 40% the size of the Earth and Kepler was not designed to find those things. So what we can say, after looking for a few years now for exomoons, is that Earth-sized or Earth-mass moons are pretty rare. Less than one in six exoplanets has an Earth-like moon, and we can say that statement to about 95% confidence. So is that it? Are we doomed to never find exomoons? Well, I wouldn't be so sure. First off, we don't always have sensitivity to Earth-sized moons. Sometimes it's a bit worse, sometimes it's a bit better. In some cases, we are sensitive to moons like those in the solar system. It's just that they're pretty rare cases. However, we've only looked at about 60 exoplanets so far. This year, we're gonna hopefully get through a roughly 1,000 exoplanets. And that means that there will be more of those special objects which have sensitivities down to solar system-sized moons. So yes, by the end of 2016, we're hoping that we can tell you not only the occurrence rate of Earth-sized moons, but moons even smaller than that, moons the same size as maybe our moon. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you click the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all the latest news from the astronomy department here at Columbia. Thanks again, and stay curious.